guys, Deluded Guna. For every Jack Wilshere and Francis Coughlin and these players and Ozzy Cup who went on to have a decent career, there's players that don't quite make the grade. I'm talking about Lansbury, Mark Randall, these sort of players. But one that I was cons I was convinced was going to make it or have a decent career for us and be a player for us, Connor Henderson, typically playing at a couple age groups above. Again, part of the FA Youth Winning Cup squad, one of the youngest members. He was decent from 17 to 20 years of age when I think he left or 2021, whatever. He was very decent. He had the, he, he, he was Irish, but he could he was eligible for England. He wanted to be like um, Liam Brady. Those of you that are old enough to remember, that would have been quite a player. He had the technical qualities to be an Arsenal player. He had the vision. He had the skills. He had the, the he had the intelligence. He was just a very good central midfield player. Like and he could play on the flanks. I don't think he would have had a career on the flanks for us. He didn't really have the pace, but he could have been a great central midfielder. And when he was nineteen twenty, there was he needed to bulk up. He was bulking up. When he was signed, when he signed his scholarship or just prior to it, there was interest from Chelsea. We had to fight them off and fight off United. He was going to be a decent player and it looked like it was going to be a serious tug of war between um, England and Ireland for his future. Like I said, he had a wand of a left foot. He had excellent vision. He was quality. You saw his um, debut versus Lady in Orient. He held it up playing left mid. He's, he was gifted technically. He was he was spoken about as Wenger as being the next big player. And he, him, the man himself even said, if there's one player I want to emulate, it's Liam Brady. So that he had high expectations for himself and things like that. Injuries shagged him. Injuries. I know it's the same case for a lot of players, but injuries really did shake this boy. It really shagged him at the at the most period, pivotal period, sorry, 1920, where you need to play football and get a look in. And he's already at the time we had better midfielders than we did then. Cess, all of these guys. He needed to be in and around the side. And these injuries, it kind of sets you back. 11, 12, he had, he had injuries. He, I think he only managed to play one game around this period. Then he was out for 2013, he was out for six months before obviously leaving in 2013 or 14, one of them. So you can see how injuries really shagged him and it is upsetting. And I thought he was going to be a very decent player. And I think he's only got one, two appearances for us. Um, 09, 010, he was, he, was, he was on the bench in the Premier League, I believe. So he was making some strides, but he, this just shows how close you can be yet yet so far. He's just unlucky with the injuries because prior to that, he was in and around the side, kicking on. He went on loan to Coventry for six months after the injury. It never happened. And then ultimately, he was spoken about as being just as good as Wilshere, if not if not better, and being one of the, the stars of England and stars for us, like being a star for, for the next decade or so. And it's sad because a player with all this potential at 17, 18 that was spoken about found himself at Crow at Crawley, then at Grimsby, then um, at a couple other clubs, um, and then he found himself in the second division, I believe, in Bulgaria. Like you can't make this stuff up, and it just shows how harsh football is. It just shows the dangers of putting expectations on players. It just shows how you need, on top of being a, an excellent footballer, you need that luck with injuries and certain things to go your way. Of course, he couldn't control none of these things. He can't control any of these things. I don't know what it is at Arsenal with players not making it due to injuries, but some of these things weren't out of his, his control. I'm sure he would have done some things differently, everybody, as would everybody. And everything happens for a reason. And maybe this was, like I say, with some players, his career was maybe his career was always gonna. He was always destined for the second division in Bulgaria. Maybe I don't believe that, but when you see stuff like that. You've, always, you've also got to think that because I am of the belief of players like, don't get me wrong, Theo Walcott, for example, should be massively better than he is now and he wouldn't have been at another top club for this long. But a part of me also feels like the expectation and we gassed him. What if Theo was always meant to just be what he is now? Like Theo Walcott, that was as good as he's meant to be. I don't know. Only the man above us knows. But guys, deluded, you know, I'm signing out. Thank you for watching. Let me get out of your hair.